Sports Monday is brought to you by Berger Paints for lasting beauty and protection and the Belize Bank, our country, your bank. Good evening, I'm James Satterley. Welcome to this edition of Sports Monday. Verdes returned to its PLB schedule yesterday inside the Norman Buster Stadium, looking to re-establish its national dominance after a rather disappointing exit from CONCACAF's Champions League play. The Belize Defence Force is the obstacle today to be faced, a team looking for a resurgent in the semi-pro league. Orlando Chop of the BDF comes up with this first real scoring threat when he launches this left foot that bears outside the near post of the goal defended by Yosef Guerra. 32 minutes in, the BDF is still in the ascendancy when Paul Nunes slices to James Flores who gives his team a 1-0 lead with a right foot push into the far corner. Ricardo Jimenez looks for the equalizer by mounting this individual effort but fails to hit the intended target. At the other end, goalkeeper Guerra has to abandon his line to deny Shane Flores who attacks the goal with a burst of speed. Six minutes after intermission, David McCauley launches this spot kick at goal that rebounds off the wall to Gilroy Thornton who might have been in an offside position but he hits the back of the net. Goalkeeper Tevin Gamboa leads the howl of protest from the BDF, but the call stands, says referee Christopher Reed. San Mendes looks to give Verdes the lead with this long distance dial that isn't too far off. Shane Chucky Flores gets the assist when he finds Paul Nunes, whose header breaks the tie for the 2-1 BDF lead. Folks, Harrison Tasha comes up with a wicked bender off this set piece, but Guerra comes up with a truly tough save. Verdes almost gets the equalizer when Shamir Pacheco picks out Dion McCauley, who forces Tevin Gamboa to come with a truly spectacular save off this vicious header. The last gasp effort fails as the Belize defense force grabs the big W in a 2-1 score. In other action around the league, Belmopan bandits bombed a fading Wagia 4-zip and police pummeled Placencia assassins with a 4-1 blast. Thus, the standings find Belmopan bandits in the lead with 13 points, police is next with 12, Verde shows 9, Placencia 8, BDF 8 and Wagia lags behind with 4 points. Looking to week 8. Saturday, 7.30 p.m., Belmopan Bandits will host Verdes FC inside the FFB and Placencia Assassins will get a visit from the BDF. On Sunday, Wagia travels to the Norman Broster Stadium for a summons by the police. It's a 4 p.m. start. Checking the CYD football tournament, Westlake United and Kings Park strikers settled for a 2-2 stalemate. Lake High Rising Stars and Majestic Alley rallied to a 1-1 tie and Exodus United sunk survivors 3-1. Turning to table tennis news, the 2015 7th annual Brothers Abbey Table Tennis Team Leagues uh, Racketeers dominate. They took first place in the first division category, beating pen holders plus in the finals, while third place went to Hurricanes and Brody's Ping Pong. Second division team results finds Racketeers again in the winner's circle after rolling past Phoenix with Crushers and Bismarck in third place. And the third division team results Smash Brothers defeated Racketeers in the finals to take Tapanas. Racketeers had to settle for second this time around with SJC Wildcats and Thunders in the third place battle. In Beacol basketball play, Saturday night in under 23 action, Mick Rowe, Light and Peace got past Spartans 55 to 42. Belmopan crushed Invaders 45 to 31 in over 35 play. While on the senior schedule, Assassins need double overtime to edge Light and Peace 86 to 82 in a monstrous ball game that saw uh, Winston Pratt put up a whopping 41 points and Kent Burgess, he added. 16. In Weekend Warriors action yesterday, some 30 riders in the A and B class lined up at Lucia's guest house for the 40-mile ride to Augustine Pine Ridge Village and back at the turning point 
It's Daniel Cano of Santinos. He's the man in the lead. Wilbur Jones rolls around the halfway mark next. Derek Smith is the third rider to complete at the halfway point. However, going into August Pine Ridge, the brand new configuration finds Kareem Flowers, Robert Mariano, and Kent Gabriel jacking for the lead. It's morning time and it appears Kent Bob Gabriel of Culture Tours Megabytes is the only rider with something left in the tank as he easily takes the win in 2 hours, 10 minutes, 20 seconds. Karim Flowers of Santinos and Robert Mariano of Digicel 4G rolling for second and third consecutively. The battle for fourth place was more competitive people as Davey Arwood prevails over Warren Cowie, all A-class riders in the B-class. Isaiah Willacy of FT Wilson took top honors. Ryan Willoughby of Smart picks up second, while Dean Boyce of FT Williams runs out the top three in this class. At the C-class, Lawrence Craig of Truckers took the W. Armando Morales of Caribbean Tires was the runner-up, and Eustace Ireland of Lampas, he rode away with third place. Hey folks, that's our show for today. We invite you back, same time, same place, next week. Thanks for joining us. Ja! Overall. I'm James Adderley. Sports Monday was brought to you by Berger Paints.